Alongside Yelan coming in 2.7, we also have Kuki Shinobu, who is going to be an electro healer. What? Yes, so let's go over her kit in this video and see if she is worth summoning for. Let's go. So even though Yelan's taking the spotlight, that does not mean Kuki Shinobu is anything to scoff at. So how good is Kuki Shinobu? So firstly, let's start with her elemental skill. So this skill will have Kuki create a grass rain or sanctifying that will cost Kuki some of her HP. Yes, so this skill will in fact hurt Kuki. Now this grass rain will follow the active character, meaning that even if you switch out, it will still be on your character and will deal electro damage to near nearby enemies and heal the active character based on Kuki's max HP. So this is pretty good. This will be Electro's first healer and has some really interesting mechanics. So the skill I could see being very good in Noni Mono Electro comps but also comps that need the Electro element for the reaction. For example, I could see Eula comps doing decently well, as the pairing of Cryo and Electro will have the Superconduct reaction that will help out a ton with her damage. Secondly, while this skill will hurt Kuki approximately 30% of her HP, she cannot go below 20% health, meaning you cannot kill yourself with this ability. Now, however, at the same time, because you're always going to be quite low health with Kuki, it does mean you do have to be careful against certain mobs that could kill you in one hit. So running a shield character alongside Kuki could be a good option. So overall, her skill is very good. But now what about her elemental verse? So her verse will have her stab the ground, creating a barrier that will deal continuous electro damage based on Kuki's max HP and the duration of it will be increased if Kuki's HP is less than 50%. So firstly, this sounds pretty decent. It doesn't last too long with it only being two seconds or 2.5 seconds with the HP condition. However, the fact that the damage will scale off of her max HP means it could be quite damaging given the right build. It will also deal continuous electro damage, which again could help apply electro if you need it. But the interesting thing about this is that HP condition. Again, with her skill, you shouldn't have too much trouble meeting that condition. But as we'll discuss very shortly, her passives will also depend on her HP. And so the gameplay with Kuki does seem to revolve around getting her HP below 50% at all times to get all these benefits. But now speaking of her passives, let's move on to them. So her first passive states that when her HP is not higher than 50%, her healing bonus will be increased by 15%. So this is really good for her skill, will make her a much better healer, but does require her HP to be below 50%. Again, stressing that Kuki will need to be low HP when played, otherwise she'll miss out on all these benefits. Now her second passive will increase her skill's effects, based on her elemental mastery, with her healing amounts being increased by 75% of her current elemental mastery and her damage dealt being increased by 25% of elemental mastery. So now with this passive, it does mean that elemental mastery looks like the set to build with her alongside max HP, as remember her skill scales off of her max HP. So going for a build that focuses on these two stats will be your best bet to make Kuki shine. So overall, Kuki is looking like a great addition to the Electro roster, filling that healer role that they have never gotten until now. Her skill looks to be an amazing, not only healing ability, but also an applier of Electro, while her burst could be very damaging, albeit a very short burst. The second big interesting thing about Kuki is the HP restriction on her passives and bursts as it does mean that the difficulty of her will be a bit higher than some other supports. However, it will net great results if you can manage to keep her at this low health throughout the fight. Now, personally, would I recommend Kuki based on these abilities? Yes, I would, seeing as at least right now, she is a one of a kind electro healer and the fact that she is a four star, meaning that she will hopefully not be too difficult to obtain and the fact that I'll probably be going for Yelan as well. And so I'll probably get Kuki along the way. But now, how about you guys? What is your opinion on Kuki? Will you summon for her? Let me know down in the comment section below. But now, if you did enjoy this video about this Electro Ninja, then leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.